In this video, we're going to look at the elements of a cumulative cash flow diagram for the entire life of a chemical plant. So before we start constructing the cash flow diagram, I'm going to list off some assumptions for this particular diagram and depending on depending on the different types of problem these assumptions may vary so the first assumption that i want to lay i want to list is that the construction time for our plant is going to be 1 year construction time of 1 year and i'm going to assume a plant operating life of 10 years now uh, the construction period for a uh, chemical plant does not necessarily have to be one years it can be less or it can be more same is the case with the life the life is usually between 10 to 20 years and uh, depending on the problem that's how you're going to modify your cash flow diagram for your own specific problem so for a construction time of period of one year we're going to start off at year negative one where we buy the land so at year negative one we're going to buy the land so land value we pay the amount that's going to go into purchasing that land and within the next year we're going to have the construction of the land completed hold on so till year zero i'm going to put in more money so the cumulative cash flow goes down as i put in more money so once I have the land, I finish the construction, I have my equipment, I have all the uh, the preparation of site, etc. The construction of the infrastructure and everything. Alright. And finally, one of the main elements before you start the operation of a plant, one of the main costs is the working capital. Working capital. Working capital is basically an amount, an amount of money that you're going to set aside to pay the first year of salaries for your, to pay the first a uh, year of salaries for your employees to cover your expenses for the first year and it's going to be a running expense throughout the life of a plant okay so now by at year zero the plant is ready and at year one it's going to start generating revenue so also at year two And for these years, the cash flow comes from the revenue. The revenue is generated from uh, selling the product that you make. And there's going to be the expenses of man the manufacturing costs are going to be subtracted. And on top of that, you have to pay taxes. So I'm going to tax reduce that in addition to taxes you also get a tax assumption tax uh, you also get some relaxation on the amount of tax you're paying based on how much depreciation your equipment is going through so depreciation is not a cash expense but you are losing value uh, we're gonna talk more about each of these elements in subsequent videos for now I'm just gonna focus on the structure okay. so here at year four 
the cumulative cash flow diagram crosses the x-axis so this period from year zero to the time where the cumulative cash flow diagram crosses the x-axis is the payback time okay and so for year six and year seven now for most chemical plants you only get the if you have a plant life of 10 years you'll only get a tax relief you'll only get your tax break for a fraction of that plant life which is usually if you have a 10 year plant life you can only get a depreciation break for seven years so after the seventh year the slope is going to shift and after the seventh year your cash flow is going to be revenue minus expenses times one minus tax rate okay all right and at year 10 the plant shuts down now once the plant is shut down you can sell the land so you get back the land value that you invested at year negative one we're gonna assume I'm gonna list that here that land is not appreciating usually what happens is if you purchase a land today it is most likely that after 10 years that land is gonna be more valuable but in our analysis we're not gonna assume that so you get back your the money that you invested in your land and you also retrieve your working capital so the money that you set aside to pay workers salaries and to cover unforeseen expenses etc so that floating amount you're gonna just retrieve it back and also uh, you're gonna if your equipment is still functional you'll sell it for and get some salvage out of your equipment so salvage value so this is what a typical cumulative cash flow diagram is going to look like for a chemical plant all right now just to recap at year negative one we're buying the land okay and from year negative one to year zero we're doing the construction so during the construction you're going to be installing your equipment you're going to be preparing the site you're going to be setting up the infrastructure also at year zero you're going to set aside some extra amount known as the working capital to cover the uh, expenses for operations and once the plant is ready to operate you're going to be uh, generating revenue by selling your product and you're going to have manufacturing expenses these manufacturing these expenses are going to be mainly raw material costs labor costs utility costs etc et all right and for the first for a fraction of the plant life you're going to get an ex, uh, you're going to get a relief on your tax you're going to get a relief on your taxes by uh, writing off depreci depreciation as a tax break so depreciation offers tax break and after your depreciation period ends the remainder of your cash flow is just revenue minus expenses tax deducted and at the end of at the final year of your plant life you shut everything down sell your land retrieve your working capital and sell any equipment for some salvage value all right in the upcoming videos we're gonna look at ways of estimating the elements of these cash flows and hope explain them in more detail